The main components of the toner cartridge are Photoconductor drum The most common cartridge failure is due to the drum Wiper blade The wiper blade cleaned any remaining toner from the drum Developer roller It carries the toner from the supply chamber to the drum Toner Charge roller it places the initial electrical charge on the drum, as well as erases the residual charge at the end of the cycle. Developer Roller Doctor Blade The Doctor Blade controls the amount of toner on the developer roller. Recovery Blade It guides the toner that the wiper blade removed from the drum into the waste chamber. First of all, change the toner cartridge to be sure the problem is related to the cartridge and not to the printer. If the problem does not remain, is for sure related to the toner cartridge. Scratched or damaged drum. Check the drum, you'll see a line on it. Change the drum. There is no reliable way to fix a damaged drum. Cut wiper blade. Change the wiper blade. Scratch charge roller. Check charge roller, you'll see a line on it. Dirty or damaged developer roller blade. Worn wiper blade. Change the wiper blade. Damaged developer roller blade. Check for a wave, for a small bow, signs of wear, or damage in the developer roller sealing blade. You can turn the mag roller around 10 times, and watch if the toner start to build up, in that area. Check the repetitive defect table, of your printer. Defective drum. The distance between the dots is dependent on the circumference of the drum. Look closely at the drum whilst turning it round slowly. Try cleaning the drum with isopropyl alcohol. There is no reliable way to fix a damaged drum. Change the drum. A cut in the developer roller. It results in a repeating black mark at the circumference of the roller. Try clean the developer roller with a soft cloth. A cut in the charge roller results in a repeating black mark at the circumference of the roller. Try cleaning the charge roller with a cloth. Change the roller. Charge roller outgassing causes cracks in the drum. The charge roller, sitting for a while on the drum, will leave a horizontal mark on the drum. Outgassing means the chemical comes out from the charge roller, attacks the drum surface, and makes it crack. You can see some uneven lines on the drum surface. Caused by a light damaged drum. The distance between the smears is dependent on the circumference of the drum. A drum can be exposed to light for a while. It normally takes 8 to 10 hours before you start to see light damage on the drum. Keep it covered in a safe place as much as possible. Worn or damaged developer roller bushing. Low quality, too old or damp toner powder. Caused by a very old wiper blade that has gotten stiff. Worn wiper blades will usually have turned yellow. Toner powder with quality problem or too old or damp. The toner hopper has not been cleaned properly. The new toner can't be mixed with any other toner.
worn, or distort, develop a roller blade. Worn out, or dirty, develop a rollers, can cause a light printing cartridge. The developer roller tends to accumulate traces of additives from the toner of its surface. Cleaning the developer roller can improve performance and regain some of the lost density. Worn Dr. Blade Toner is finished or low. Too old or one drum. Replace the drum. The springs of the cartridge are not in right position. This is caused by scratches in the coating of the developer roller. The blade can cut grooves into the developer roller surface, resulting in a line of missing toner down the printed page. Scratches in the coating of the charge roller. The amount of toner in the cartridge is low. Defective or dirty, develop a roller blade. Some foreign material stud near the blade. Clean the doctor blade edge so there's no evidence of buildup along the edge. There is something blocking the laser on the side of the cartridge. Remove it. The outer coating of the charge roller is worn out. Most of the failures will show up in the winter where the humidity is low. Ground contact not allowing the drum to fully discharge. Low quality, too old, or damp toner powder. The amount of toner in the cartridge is low. Worn developer roller or one developer roller blade. Too old or one drum. Replace the drum. Toner seal still installed. Remove the seal from the cartridge. Verify contacts between cartridge and printer. Inspect contacts inside the cartridge. Check the developer roller contact and plate and developer contact spring. The drum contact is not connecting fully. Check continuity of the drum internal contact. One probe applied to the aluminum substrate at the very edge of the drum and the other on the copper clad contact of the end cap. Check print cartridge door for broken laser beam shutter tab. This problem can be caused by a cartridge that isn't fully seated in the printer. Remove it and reinstall the cartridge. Problem related to the charge roller. Check if the PCR saddles are clean and in the right position. Inspect contacts inside the cartridge. Low quality, too old, or damp toner powder. Do not store the toner in a humid or damp environment.
Warn developer roller. Warn developer roller blade. Warn run. Charge roller related problem. This is caused by the outer coating on the charge roller being worn. Low humidity conditions can increase the amount of background shading. Low quality, too old, or damp toner powder. Worn developer roller. Worn developer roller blade. Do not mix different types of toner. It's important to clean the cartridge perfectly before refill with new toner. It's impossible for any manufacturer to offer a perfectly compatible toner that matches all the physical properties of another toner manufacturer. Getting all the old toner out is very important. That toner is mostly waste toner and if used will cause backgrounding and ghosting. Bad contacts. Check the developer roller contact and plate and developer contact spring. Charge roller problems. Check continuity of the drum internal contact. One probe applied to the aluminum substrate at the very edge of the drum and the other on the copper clad contact of the end cap. The drum contact itself is most likely dirty or is not connecting fully. It could be an intermittent contact. Check the contacts between cartridge and printer. The drum is a nick. Replace the drum. Broken gear in the drum. Bad or broken developer roller bushing. Missing or improper position of the mag roller bearing. It could be an intermittent contact. Check the contacts between cartridge and printer. The drum gear is broken. Clamp on the developer roller. Try cleaning it with a cloth. Do not store toner in a humid or damp environment. Dirty or damaged charge roller. Clean the charge roller with water. Leaking cartridge. A damaged or bent recovery blade will cause random dots all over the page. This will get worse as more printing is done. The toner will then accumulate on top of the blade and start to drop off. The more printing is done, the more will accumulate and drop off. Replace the recovery blade. Sponge roller inside the toner hopper may be bad. Defective developer roller recovery blade. Check for a wave, for a small dowel, or even signs of wear. You can turn the developer roller around 10 times 
and should view the tunnel starting to build up in that area. A foreign particle between the drum and the wiper blade. Try to remove it. Contact missing inside the cartridge. Check all electrical contacts. This problem can be caused by a cartridge that isn't fully seated in the printer. Remove it and reinstall the cartridge. Inspect the cartridge. Check for broken parts or missing tabs. Too much waste toner in the waste hopper. This type of defect may be caused by low quality toner or by the charge roller. The charge roller causes too much background which in turn causes too much waste toner. Worn or defective, develop a roller blade. Worn run. Check for a wave, for a small dow, or even signs of wear or damage in the developer roller sealing blade. You can turn the developer roller around 10 times and should view the toner starting to build up in that area. Tunnel low or finished. Inspect the cartridge. Check for broken parts or missing tabs. This problem can be caused by a cartridge that isn't fully seated in the printer. Remove it and reinstall the cartridge. charge roller. Check its supports. Verify if the charge roller can move freely. Side end caps of the cartridge are not at the right position. Inspect the cartridge. Check for broken parts or missing tabs. This defect is caused by the charge roller. Check its supports. Verify if it can move freely. Could be an intermittent contact. This failure is also sometimes described as one blown scent. It is caused by a worn out run or worn out developer roller bushing. Cracked, worn, missing, or toner filled bushings will physically tear the coating off a drum. Replace the drum. Low quality, too old, or damp toner powder. 
Do not store toner in a humid or damp environment. Worn drum. Change drum. Check if the drum is installed correctly. Check all the gears are installed correctly. There is a broken gear or dirty in the cartridge. Toner agitator roller inside the toner hopper is broken or not in right position. Side end caps of the cartridge are not in the right position. Poorly lubricated blade. A poorly lubricated blade will flip and usually damage the drum. It should be replaced. Wiper blade can also stick to the drum if the cartridge is inactive for a while.